so many videos in the morning. Um, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I need a wrinkle brain that's in the MMTLP trade to take a look at this with me. Okay. Um, so if that's you, please take a look. Also hit the like bell, you know, the sub, all that happy shit. Uh, let's dig in. So they filed this yesterday. I missed it. I didn't see it until this morning. Okay. Um, so this is about, it's something called a CVR. Okay. Um, we're going to cover that in a second. So a CVR <clears throat> is basically a listing standard for a price based or event um, based contingent value right stock. Uh, each is CVR, or wait, wait let's see, let's see. Uh, so they're unsecured ob um, obligations of the issuer, uh, providing for a possible cash payment at maturity. Uh, the exchange believes that the proposed rule change will increase competition by providing an additional listing venue for CVRs, which can cur uh, currently be listed on other sec securities exchanges. So for instance, MMAT is on the NASDAQ, MMTLP is on the OTC. Uh, CVRs are often used to bridge valuation gaps uh, relating to uh, uncertain future events that may influence the value of a target company. And more generally, may be employed to aid in completion of deals by helping to solve certain um, of the valuation and closing challenges that the, that the party encounters. Think about that. You know, like it. It sounds. It sounds a little bit familiar. Now it gets worse though, because like it gets a little bit more confusing. Specifically, the cash payment at maturity for CVR can be based upon the price performance of an affiliate equity security. So, if they're talking about, you know, an affiliate's equity security, are they talking about MMAT? Because that that, that to me that doesn't make sense. Um, or upon the occurrence of a specified event or events related to the business of the issuer or an affiliate of the issuer. An event-based CVR at maturity, the holder of a price-based CVR is entitled to a cash payment if the average market price of the related equity security is less than a preset target price. The target price is established at the time of, um, like, like that it's issued. Conversely, should the average market price of the related equity uh, security equal or exceed the target price, the price-based CVR would expire worthless. Price-based CVRs are generally distributed to shareholders of an acquired company who are receiving shares of the acquirer as an acquisition consideration. The price-based CVRs provide the acquiree shareholders with some medium-term protection against poor stock price performance of the shares of the acquirer by guaranteeing them a specific cash payment if the acquirer's average stock price is below a spe uh, spe specified level um, of maturity of the price-based CVR. So... What I'm missing here is I'm missing. Wait, hold on. Wait, actually, hold on a second. I I apologize. So they talk. They're just talking a lot about mergers, okay? And then they're talking about these CVRs, and they're talking about um, the maturity date. And I'm wondering if that has something to do with the deal closing. Now, when I called the E-Trade to confirm my thesis, the guy agreed with me, um, saying that they wouldn't be able to, like, like that I could take the, like, I could take my shares private, um, but this right here kind of tells me, like, they might just either be worthless, or they might, like, I might just get whatever the um, like the determined price is. It's it's very very odd. All right, so, all right, wait 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 wait. The event based CVR provides the shareholders of the acquiree 
and additional interest in the medium-term performance of the merged entity upon a, a occurrence of its specified events. Uh, now, they're talking about FDA stocks here. Obviously, you know, we're not talking FDA when we're talking MMTLP. Um, I guess I would really like another wrinkle brain to look at this specific filing. Okay. Right here. Filed on the third. Uh... And I guess just give me your feedback because this is kind of throwing me off how they're talking about, uh, you know, receiving them as a dividend um, or mergers and being in different markets. Because obviously, like I said, MMAT is in um, the NASDAQ and um, MMTLP is in uh, the OTC market. But I would, I would just appreciate that. Again, I am live already, so just come hang out. Um, but I'm digging through this Federal Registry because they're pumping a lot of crazy stuff through here lately. Um, I suggest that you guys do the same, but again, not a financial advisor, so I mean, I can't tell you guys, you know, what to do. But, hey, I hope to see you here. Later.